You're watching Impulse on the Freedom Network. And now here's Anthony. Thank you so much. I appreciate the introduction. Today we're going to be talking about the Razer Kraken Pro analog gaming headset. This headset is, eh, no, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's got some cavats and we'll talk about those. Normally this is the part of the interview where I would show you the headset and then I would, you know, talk about it. Unfortunately, it's green. Meaning it's probably going to mess with the chroma keying. So just to annoy our editor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it to you anyway. Good luck, Chris. This is the first and only shot you're going to get of the headset. Yay. Now that we've actually seen the headset, we can move on. There should be some B-roll on camera now, as well as there should be an unboxing over on the Geek Channel. This is an analog headset, which means it's not a USB headset, duh. But for some people, that's a deal breaker. Uh, USB components are, for some, the end-all and be-all of everything. Personally, I had to break that just for the review. Normally, I will buy anything that's USB, and if it's not USB, I'd think twice about it. However, once I really, truly gave this headset a shot, it really did almost kind of change my mind. A little bit. This analog headset is capable of producing really low lows, decently high highs, and it's got a really good range. Now this headset I thought was going to be really bad about putting pressure on the sides of my head. Fortunately, I was wrong. However, I did notice a little bit of weight on top of my head, and it is kind of noisy. By noisy, I mean it does make noise when you jiggle your head or you, you jar it slightly. It's just plastic on plastic, and it, it's just weird. As someone born in the 80s and who was a child in the 90s, I can't look at this headset without thinking of Nickelodeon Gak. And if you don't know what Nickelodeon Gak is, go search it on the internet. One of the cool advantages I really liked about this headset when I was testing it was the fact that it gives you a couple different options as far as how to hook it up. There's an all-in-one jack that allows you to plug it into an Omni port that will allow it to do the headphones, the microphone, and everything all in one. So if you're using it for a gaming console, there you go. Also, there are the separate microphone and uh, head headphone uh, jacks so that you can um, plug it into your PC or whatever. And of course, that adapter is quite a bit longer than the console adapter. So, I don't know, it's... It's really one of those things you have to look at. The fabrics and the materials that it's made out of, I would give it probably around a 6.5 to a 7. Uh, though these are not necessarily cheap materials, they do have the look of being cheap. It looks very plastic. It looks very not high quality. Razer, get on your game. This is one of those headsets that it may not look like much, but there's an old saying about judging a book by its cover. But this isn't a book review. If you judge a headset by the way it looks, you're missing the vast majority of everything. The headset I found to be able to reproduce sound fairly well. And I really, really did enjoy the sound quality when it wasn't hampered by the noisiness of the headset itself while I was in motion, playing games or doing things like that. The foam padding that the ears are made out of do have a tendency to pool sweat. Not to a crazy insane degree, but to a degree that once you've been playing for about four or five hours, you do kind of get that ear itch that gamers all know. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Please tell me I'm not alone. Another thing that I missed because this is an analog headset is there was no kind of control on the cord itself. There wasn't really anything that allowed me to do anything while I was in game other than pause games and set things manually or use hotkeys. I just didn't have anywhere to grab on the cord and make changes. So that's definitely something you should keep in mind. If it's important to you, this is not the headset for you. You're watching Impulse. And now here's Anthony. Thank you so much for the introduction. Today I want to talk to you about the Razer Deathstalker keyboard. This is an expert level keyboard. All your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you would be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays kids more worried about...